Carly, I found her. It's kind of plain. What do you think? Uh, you can change it. I didn't. I didn't know what to put. A date. A prayer or something else? No, definitely not a date. My mom always used to say that a woman that would tell her age would tell anything. I don't remember her having a favorite prayer, unless you count. <laughs> My God, Caroline, what have you done? Maybe we could just, you know, put that uh, she was my mom and she was Michael's grandma. Sure. Will it cost a lot to change the headstone? Doesn't matter. You always do that. What? Just give me whatever I need. Uh, it doesn't matter how difficult. Your mother's headstone should be the way you want. Everything else is perfect. I love that she's near the ocean. She loved the ocean. Did I ever tell you that my mom used to say that a day at the beach took all her troubles away? That's why I chose it. That's something else you dare you. Listen to me, even when I don't listen to myself. Do you want to be alone with her? I don't know. Do you think she's here? I mean, do you think that when people die that they can hear you when you talk to them? Nobody knows what happens after you die. But I think the part that... part of you that loves your soul, I guess, and that part never ends. It just goes somewhere. When people need you, you can hear them. And maybe even help somehow. Can you tell that to Michael someday? That's why I take him to church. I think I need to be alone with her, after all. Okay, Michael and I was look around. know how I managed to convince myself that Bobby could love me more than you did. Or why I couldn't see that the mother that I had dreamed up was the mother that I already had. say that enough and I didn't show you the way I should have but I know that you forgive me because you always did and I want you to know that I am <laughs> I'm not gonna go running after some fantasy anymore I mean my life it's not perfect it's not exactly the kind of thing that, you know, you would cut out of a magazine and <laughs> tape to your wall, but it works for me and Michael. Jason is so good to me. He gives us everything that, that we need, and I know enough now to hold on to it with both hands and be grateful. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy, Mom. 
I hope you know that. And I hope that you're happy for me, too. Getting late. If we want to fly back tonight, we should leave pretty soon. Is he still asleep? Asleep again. I changed and fed him. You're a good father, Jason. You know, when um, I found out that I was adopted, all I could think about was the fact that I had this real mother out there somewhere. But Virginia Benson was my real mother. Just like you're Michael's real father. Biology doesn't make a family. Love does. Remember that, okay? We could spend the night if you want to come back here tomorrow. No. I'm ready to go, actually. When the old man went on television and told people they should be grateful for their jobs, he made the strike legitimate. Then I did the right thing. No, you didn't. You got lucky. Carly, I know, uh, I know I was pretty rough on you in the car that night. But you don't understand my business. Things that happen by accident usually get somebody killed. And you and Michael are safe as long as you stay out of it and as long as I know everything that happens. Now, giving an order in my name was the most dangerous thing you could have done. I only did it, Jason, because Edward made me so mad. I, he hates you, you know, just like you said, and I wanted to pay him back. I know, Carly. Do whatever you want. Just don't speak for me. I totally understand. Good. Now look, um, I am sorry for yelling at you. I don't want to fight. Hey, Michael. I know you want to get out of there, don't you? You were a good boy on the plane, I gotta tell you that. He was, a little regular traveler, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's gonna be hungry soon. You wanna put on the formula while I get him changed? Sure. And I'll take the baby monitor tonight. Okay. Hey, right, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Good night, Angel. Oh, it's okay. Oh, yeah. You've been to Florida now, haven't you? Yeah, oh, okay, it was my first time, too. Yeah, did I ever tell you the story about how, uh, how I wanted to leave town, and that's where I got a ticket to, Key West? Because it was far south as you could go, and I loved the ocean, and you saw the ocean, too, didn't you? What'd you think about it? You like it? Huh?
Car Carly, what, what, are you, what are you doing? Stop it. Stop, stop it. What? Jason, I want to be with you. What do you... Be with me? You mean, you mean have sex? Yes. Is that so terrible? Yes. Why? Look, we're... We're so close now. We should take it to the next step. Carly, we're friends. I don't want to mess that up. I'm sorry. I thought that you would want to. You should have asked me. What would you have said, Jason? There's, there's no way I'm having sex with you. Easy there with the compliments. A woman could get a big head. Uh, I've seen what happens when you start having sex with someone. First you start lying, then it gets worse. Wait, wait a minute. It's totally different. AJ and Tony were a different story. Besides, Jason, you are a better man than both of them put together, and you and I were always good together. Right, but you know what? In the beginning, when we first met, it was all about having fun. Playing pool, going up to my room, not knowing each other's names. But after a while, Carla, we started a fight. We started to argue, and pretty soon the only time we didn't fight was when we were in bed. Well, I was a different person then, and so were you. No, no, you wanted to know things I couldn't tell you, and you got mad when I didn't. It's the same thing now, Carly. We have Michael. Did it ever occur to you, Jason, that this might be good for Michael? Michael needs to be in a house where the people are happy. He's got that right now, and I'm not going to risk changing it. You know what? This is really interesting. It's really interesting because you're able to be honest with everybody except yourself. No, I meant what I said. You may not like it, but it's true. No, listen. This doesn't have anything to do with Tony or AJ or even Michael. The reason that you don't want to sleep with me is because of Robin. Because you're still in love with her, Jason, and you would rather deny yourself than be unfaithful to her. hungry. I fed him a bottle and he went right back to sleep. You sure you didn't put him up to it? What? <laughs> Interrupting our conversation. If you want to know something, just ask me. Okay. Are you still in love with Robin? Yes. But it doesn't matter because Robin and I aren't together and we won't be. But you still won't sleep with me because of her? It has nothing to do with Robin. Jason, God, come on. Can we just... See, this is exactly why I don't want to have sex with you. As soon as we do, as soon as we even start to think about it, we fight. And I'm not going to do that to Michael. This is not about Michael. It is about you and me, two people that live in the same house, that care about each other, that know how good we can be together. Look, you love Robin, okay? I know that, but you just admitted that you're not going to be with her, so why shouldn't we be lovers? Come on, Jason. Carly, Carly, no. Come on, no. Stop. I said no. All right, let me get this straight. You don't love me. But you care about me. And you want to have sex with me, but you're not going to because you're afraid that somehow it's going to hurt Michael. God, the story just keeps getting more and more confusing by the minute. So why don't you get your story straight and then you get back to me. Yeah, I know exactly how I feel. I like you. <laughs> you like me? After everything that we've been through for as long as we've been together, that's all the emotion you can muster up. You me. like Listen me? Listen to me. I like having you around. I like seeing you every day. I even like your, your, your junk all over the you house. You like having Michael here, and I come with the package, so you tolerate me. No. No, I don't... Look, before you and Michael came, I slept on a couch. I ate standing over a sink. I even showered in the guest bathroom so I wouldn't mess anything up in the big one upstairs. You and Michael brought life into this house. You turned it into a home. 
He made my life better. Carly, I'm grateful. You're my friend. The only time you weren't, the only time we couldn't count on each other is when we were having sex. I want things to stay the way they are. Not you, me, Michael, together like this. I'm sorry. You should not have to explain yourself. <laughs> no, no. It's, it, was, it was for the best. Now you know. Are you angry with me? This is the only place I've ever felt like I belong, Jason. I'm not going to screw that up. I promise. Okay.